Welcome to my tutorial on linear programming problem or LPP. Now LPP is a very useful tool for making economic decisions. Basically it is a type of constraint optimization where both the objective function and the constraints are linear. So in a LPP we have a linear objective function, linear inequality constraints and non-negativity constraints. Problems can be solved by the graphical method when there are only two decision variables. Let us now look at the steps for solving a linear programming problem by the graphical method. The first step is to plot the constraints. Now we have the inequality constraints but for plotting them the inequalities are converted to equalities and then we find the horizontal and vertical intercepts. The second step is to identify which side of the straight line is valid as a constraint. A very useful method is to put the, co the coordinates of the origin that is 0, 0 in the linear inequality constraint. Now if the inequality is satisfied then the valid side of the constraint is towards the origin but if it is not satisfied then the valid side is away from the origin. The third step is to find the feasible region. The feasible region is the intersection of the valid region of each constraint. The fourth step is to find the optimum point. There are two methods for this. First, we can substitute the coordinates of each of the corner points of the feasible region in the objective function. The coordinates that gives the highest value of the objective function is the optimum value. Alternatively, if the objective is to minimize a linear function then the point that minimizes the objective function is the optimum point. The second method is to choose an arbitrary constant value of the objective function and draw the straight line. But it should be drawn in such a manner that it is different from the constraints. Now place a ruler parallel to the objective function and slide the ruler along the feasible region to the farthest point possible. This farthest corner point of the feasible region that is touched by the ruler is the optimum point. Usually the optimum points are the corner points. Let us now look at an example. The example says that we have to maximize 6x plus 8y subject to 6 constraints with 4 inequality constraints and 2 non-negativity constraints. Now first of all we have to find the constraint lines so we have to make them equalities and find the intercepts. So for the first constraints when x equal to 0 we have y equal to 50 and when y equal to 0 x is equal to 16.6. So the straight line joins y equal to 50 and x equal to 16.6. Similarly for the second constraint we have when x equal to 0 y is equal to 13.3 and when y equal to 0 x is equal to 20. The third constraint is a vertical straight line x equal to 15 and the fourth constraint is y equal to 10 which is a horizontal straight line. The fifth and sixth constraints are non-negativity constraints. We have to plot the constraint lines. You see I have drawn the four constraints and depicted them by four different colors. Now the shaded region S is the feasible region which satisfies all the constraints. It is the region of intersection of the valid regions of all the constraints. So A, B, C, D, E, these are the corner points of the feasible region. Now one way to find the optimum point among A, B, C, D and E is to draw the objective function. 
Now the objective function is a straight line but we do, do not know its constant value. Let us assume that 6x plus 8y is equal to 48. So when x equal to 0 we have y equal to 6 and when y equal to 0 we have x equal to 8. This is given here by the dashed red line in bold. Now if we place a ruler parallel to the line and slide it parallelly away from the origin then we can see that the farthest point within the visible region that can be reached is point E. So we can say that E is the optimum point. The alternative method to find the optimum point is to first determine the coordinates of all the corner points. Now point A is the point of intersection between the constraints 2 and 4. So we find the coordinates by solving the two constraints and obtain the result to be 5 and 10. We can see visually that the coordinates of B is 0 and 10. Uh, C is the origin so the coordinates are 0, 0. For D it is 15, 0. And the point E is the intersection of constraints 1 and 3. So the coordinates are obtained by solving these two constraints and we have the result as 15 and 10 by 3. Now the optimum point is that which maximizes the objective function. So we find the values of the objective function at each point. So the value of 6x plus 8y at A is equal to 110, at B it is 80, at C it is 0, at D it is 90 and at E it is 116.6. So we can see that E has the largest value. This matches with the first method. So the optimum value of the objective a function is achieved when x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 10 by 3. Next, let us look at another example. We have maximized 2x1 plus 5x2 subject to 3 inequality constraints and 2 non-negativity constraints. Over here, again, first of all, we have to find out the constraint lines and for this we find out the horizontal and vertical intercepts. The next step as I already told you is to plot the constraint lines. Let us see how we can find the valid side of the constraint line. Consider uh, the first constraint minus 2x plus 3x2 is less than equal to 6. So if we put x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0, we have 0 in the left hand side which is less than 6. So the inequality is satisfied. So the valid side of the constraint line is the right side of the straight line towards the origin. Likewise, you can find out the valid sides of the other constraints as well. But here the valid sides also include negative values of x1 and x2 as in the case of the constraints 1 and 2. But we have to remember the non-negativity constraint which means x should be greater than or equal to 0 and y should also be greater than or equal to 0. Keeping this in view, the feasible region is the shaded region S and A, B, C, D, E are the corner points. Now again, analogous to our first example, we can assume that 2x1 plus 5x2 equal to 10 so that when x1 equal to 0, x2 is equal to 2 and when x2 is equal to 0, then x1 is equal to 5. So we get the intercepts and we can draw the linear objective function as the blue dashed line. 
Now, if we slide the line parallelly rightwards, we find that the maximum that can be reached is at point A. So, A is the optimum point. Going by the alternative method, we get the coordinates of A by solving constraints 1 and 3. The result is 9 by 5 and 16 by 5. B is the intersection of constraints 2 and 3. So by solving these, we get 8 by 3 and 7 by 3. C is 2, 0. D is the origin. So we have 0, 0. And E is 0, 2. Now the values of the objective function 2x1 plus 5x2 at A is equal to 19.6 at B it is 17 at C it is 4 at D it is 0 and at E it is 10 therefore A has the largest value of the objective function so we can say that the optimum value of the objective 2x1 plus 5x2 function is achieved at x1 equal to 9 by 5 and x2 equal to 16 by 5